What is up y'all? Uh, coming back at you again with another weekend vlog. Uh, episode 2 of The Life of Easy with your boy Easy. What's up going on today? Nah, nothing too crazy. Uh, about to go hit the gym uh, and get a nice little upper body pump in. Um, and then, you know, grab some coffee. And I got some schoolwork to do, a little macroeconomics. And gaming it up on the new Modern Warfare. Uh, I think I literally played that for like 12 straight hours yesterday. Bring you guys along with me. Hopefully this time um, I can actually catch some quality conversations though. I'm actually going to bring my tripod and my microphone with me so that I can get some better content. So yeah, uh, let's get it. I was heading to the gym, but we got a lot going on in here. We got mom. Mom bear out here repping the life is easy t-shirt. What are you doing in here? What you got Making going on? Cupcakes and chili. Cupcakes and chili. Old pops in here. Tick tocking away. Just chilling on his phone. What you want to say to YouTube real quick? Get your four leg parlay in. Get your four leg parlay in. All right, y'all. I'm heading to the gym. Uh, I got a few other things to do, but I love you guys. I'll catch y'all later. Love you. All right, finally leaving the house this morning. It's like 40 degrees out here in Indiana. Uh, we're still rocking, we're still rocking the short shorts because that is something that it doesn't matter. I don't care if it's 10 degrees outside, we're rocking the short shorts. So I'll see y'all at the gym. What's up, dude? There we go. Not a bad. Well, start to the upper body day. Start off with some arms. Get that little pump going. Little bicep, tricep. Hit some of your delt. Now we're on to cable fly. And my dumbass has not kept count. Oh yeah. So, I'm just gonna go till it hurts. Oh. Whew. Teddy's feeling good. My least favorite part about working out is definitely the rest breaks in between because I never know how long to take. I either do it too long or I don't do it long enough. And yeah, so I'm either extremely well rested in between sets or I'm extremely exhausted. There is no in between. Yep. Two, three. Fourteen. Ah, fifteen. Oh, come in. I really like using this microphone. I don't have to yell to the camera so that the camera can hear me. Because I don't like yelling in the gym. I'm a soft spoken dude. Oh, here we go. He's going to talk shit to me. What's going on? All right, man. Yes, sir. Recording for YouTube today. Uh, yeah, this is my first week. Made my first video last Saturday. Cool. Making my second video today. How you been? Good. Doing the work thing? Work, 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 work. Yeah. I haven't seen you in here in a while. Probably, uh, I've been switching it up a little bit. Instead of doing the uh, early morning stuff, I've been in some early morning, but it's usually been in the afternoon. Of course, I've been traveling, so I've been to, man, I've been to LA twice, been to Salt Lake City, oh. Phoenix, I've come to Phoenix. Okay. How did you like Salt Lake City? I'm really curious because I ended up on Utah TikTok is what happened. Really? Yeah, and like it was all kinds of weird, weird stuff. Oh, it was like Mormon TikTok. <laughs> Actually, something that they were that Mormons do out there because they can't have caffeine, they'll put uh, 
coffee creamer in Diet Coke. And it was like it was like going viral for the longest time. Yeah, it was coffee creamer and diet coke. It's nice to see you in here again, man. Yeah, but at least you're good conversation when you're in here. I definitely seen you walking up. And you know, you're the background. I got you in there and I go, he's gonna talk shit to me as soon as he gets up here. He's gonna see this tripod, and the first thing he's gonna do, what are we doing? Making movies in here now? You know, something. I was mentally prepared. For the people that do see this, this is my Babe Ruth baseball coach. So he's known me for like 10 years plus now. And so he just, he just likes to give people a hard time. It's just old and cranky. <laughs> it's called tough love, you know, everybody needs it. Everybody. So, some of us need it a little more than others. <laughs> I, uh, I, I can proudly say that I have not made my mom a grandma yet. Better find some wood to knock on quick. All right. When I come back in here, like, you know, I see you here in the you're gonna be like, hey, coach. No, hey, don't, don't with that. Don't with, don't, just stop. Just stop. Hey. Just stop. Don't even don't even finish what you have to say. You listen. Listen. You're gonna make me trap myself in my room with the Call of Duty for the next month. I'm not gonna shave my beard. I'm gonna be in Texas. You're not gonna that's not what it's gonna say. It's gonna say you fucking jinx me, dude. Just listen, there is nothing my mom wants more than to see me have a kid. And I'm like I can't just give anybody that opportunity. You know, I'm, I'm very reserved with it. And she's like, but you would make such cute baby. Every girl I, I talk to, you guys would make such cute babies. I'm I don't want to even let anybody finish that sentence. If you guys are kids, you know, you're out there coaching, and now you're getting rid of that baby. Yeah, you know, I went from being a kid playing baseball, hitting on your assistant coach's wife <laughs> at 15, now knowing for sure I don't think I want children ever. Maybe when I'm like 40. You don't want to be that guy's wheel just chair down at your kid's graduation. Yep. I, I'm so proud of you. Listen, I might kick the bucket on Tuesday, but I'm proud of you today. Actually, gonna put wrist straps on because I'm soft. Let's get it. All right. One, two. Got that out of the way. And there we go. Whew. I really fucking swole. I think I got a case of swoliosis this morning. Start up with these. So blame it on me. I'm low key kind of gassed, but still got some arms and back to hit. So time to start pushing through. Just 
chick that's in here working out today. She is cute. We don't get that very often around here in the middle of fucking nowhere, Indiana. So we appreciate the rarities. Got a nice little upper body pump in. Uh, about to go grab some coffee. Well, hey, you have a good day, brother. Yes, sir. Hey, do you mind if I put you on YouTube? Be careful. Hey, say what's up to my YouTube channel. What's up, Papa? Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got nervous, man. I've never done this hey. before. I'm sorry. Hey, it's all, hey, it's all right, my man. Hey, I appreciate you. Uh, nah. <laughs> hey, that was good. That was good. Hey, that guy. That's a real good dad right there, man. Single father told me a little bit of his story while I was in there in the gym today. That's a good dude right there. Hey, him and his son both, uh, they followed me on TikTok and uh, showed me some support. And that's, that's one of the beautiful things about the community uh, that I live in now. You know, a lot of people, they do want to see results before they support you. And I think a lot of people don't understand that on, they, they wonder why people don't support them when they first start something. It's because you have to have results in order for people to see your vision. The only person that can see it when you first start is you. But now I have, I have wonderful people like that within my community who support me in the things that I'm trying to do. And I'm blessed, y'all. Like, I mean, I'm truly blessed to, to be in an environment like that where, you know, the people around me want to support and love to see what I'm doing. And I can't wait to to give back to them all one day great little workout though about to go grab me some starbucks yeah starbucks and then i gotta go home and do macro economic so that's gonna be fun but we're gonna get I'm through gonna it run up into starbucks and grab some iced coffee nice and sunny in indiana can't complain because it's about to be cold and a motherfucker around here we are going into a local grocery store though, because that's where Starbucks is at. So people are gonna look at me weird. This isn't LA. People, people don't understand this stuff yet. This is our little Starbucks that we have in my hometown. Got to come in to a local grocery store, uh, which, but they make it with love, and that's all that matters around here. How's it going? All right. You got your little camera there. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I'm doing YouTube today, so. <laughs> You wanna say what's up? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm out of here. Uh, it's weird to people that don't understand it, but it's cool. I enjoy it. What's up? I'm good. Uh, yeah, can I just get the usual one? I heard you guys uh, had a shortage of like everything not too long ago. Uh, <laughs> yes, please. Uh, yes. A what? A who? A coworker. Um, so. A guy that comes in here and gets chicken Yeah, a couple of them do. Put all my coworkers on to my drink and they all love it now. I've actually converted two Dunkin' people back to Starbucks. So, Starbucks, if you see this, I need a cut. All right, thank you. No, I'm good. Y'all wanna say what's up for YouTube? Hey. <laughs> Chloe, you can say hi too. All right, now we had to get her warmed up to it. She she was weirded out when I first walked in. Hey, I, I'm right there with you. Yeah. Uh, the Starbucks girls are the best. They're so nice. Got that. Woo. Got that caramel drizzle. Uh, when I first started getting this drink, I was terrified to let any of my friends know uh, what the name of it was or what was in it. I would just tell them, oh, you just put caramel in it. I was not about to tell my buddies. Oh yeah, you ask them for caramel drizzle. Started losing man points but that way. Scooped up the coffee at, a, at our Martin's grocery store. I'm carrying your love with me. West Virginia down to Tennessee. I'll be moving with the good Lord speed. Carrying your love with me. All right, well. That's it for me, y'all. I'm done with the gym, got the coffee, time to get up in here, get to these books, build that brain strength, not them arm strength anymore, you know what I'm saying? Yeah.